Hey guys, it is the day before New Year's Eve and we are headed to Atlantic City. We're going to see Duran Duran in concert at the Ocean. I'm super excited and I'm gonna try to vlog the weekend as much as I can. It should be a lot of fun. I saw them a long time ago, maybe five to seven years ago and they are amazing. So it's gonna be a good time. The weather is actually beautiful today. It's like 50 degrees, which is crazy because it was in the teens and 20s last week. So it's gonna be fun and I look forward to bringing you guys along. So we made it to Atlantic City. We're at the Irish pub, which if you've watched any of my other Atlantic City vlogs, you've probably seen it before, but they really decorate really, really nicely for the holidays. So it looks like they still have their stuff up. I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. So we just got to the resort. This is cute. They have a little mini golf area here and it looks like they're also building a big water park outside. Looks like there's a little coffee shop here that we can go to maybe in the morning. Gift shop. No, oh, it's so far so good. In. We're in room 811 in the Bourbon Tower at the showboat, and I'm just gonna quickly just show you what the room looks like. All right, so here's the bathroom. There is a double sink, and there's a full tub and shower. Really nice size vanity, and then big mirror here king-size bed. There's like a desk area and over here there's a fridge in here. TV. It's a pretty sizable room and then we have a partial ocean view. In the future I'd probably request to be up higher because we do have this building in the way but you can see the ocean. And the sun is setting now. There's the Ferris wheel. There is a couch over here. There's a gym over here. I came with the room. <laughs> and that's pretty much our room. So we're headed to Land Shark, getting the last of the sunset here out on the boardwalk. We're gonna go in for a drink, and then we'll probably head over to Margaritaville or someplace for dinner.
I'm looking for Jimmy's Jam and Jambalaya. Jimmy's Jam and Jambalaya? Is that actually a thing? It is now. <laughs> and yes, it is, right there. Jimmy's Jam and Jambalaya. Oh, wow. It's like it was me just for you. Oh, uh, now I feel committed. <laughs> Look at the floor. Yeah, nice. <laughs> it looks like the ocean. Hey. All right, so we finished dinner and now we're headed to Duran Duran. Out to the Ocean Resort, which is right down here. Happy New Year! Have a great party tomorrow night! We know we will! So we're back in the room and here's the view from the window so I wonder if this is going to go all night long. It's pretty cool. But the concert was amazing. Afterwards we went to this place called the Jingle Bell Bar. I think it was like it was like a piano bar. It was really cute. So um, we went there for a little while and then we went over to the Hard Rock and we watched a band playing there and now we're back at the room and I have this view all night. So, but it was like honestly one of the best concerts ever. Duran Duran is still amazing. They're going to be at Times Square tomorrow night. So I'm excited for that. Oh, look at that. Oh wow, that's really cool. It looks like fireworks. Anyway, it's after midnight. <laughs> I'm slightly delirious and I am going to call it a night. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, guys. It's the next day and I just wanted to show you how foggy it is. We cannot even see the Ferris wheel out there. So we're gonna go get some coffee and head out. Why is he so scary? He looks possessed. I don't want my fortune from him. <laughs> We're just taking a look on the boardwalk and it's still so foggy. There's the Ferris wheel right there. You can hardly see it. And it's raining a little bit, but we're taking a walk and we're looking for something to eat. So we're home. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon and we actually have dinner re reservations for New Year's Eve at four o'clock. And then we have a party at a neighbor's house. So originally we had contemplated the idea of staying in Atlantic City for New Year's Eve, but ultimately we just decided to come home. Um, I've been pretty quiet on YouTube. If you're somebody who typically watches my channel, you know it's been a little touch and go lately and it's been quiet the past week or so because we basically were not home for most of the holiday break. We went to the lake for a couple of days and then we went to Atlantic City for a couple of days. I literally did not even put away any of the Christmas stuff. It looks the way it looked Christmas morning in my house right now. <laughs> like I have so much cleanup to do, so much laundry, dishes, like everything is just building up. So I guess it's just better to be home at this point. So tomorrow things are going to get real and I'm going to have to like start, you know, start the new year off with getting everything back in order in my house. So we are going to be changing, getting ready, going out soon, but I just wanted to give you a little recap of our trip to Atlantic City. It was so much fun. Like I said, we stayed at the showboat, which is not typically a place that we would stay. I really like the Hard Rock Hotel. It's really nice there. 
but um it was a lot less expensive and if you know what type of room to request you can end up getting actually a really nice room at the Shobu. I know there are certain um, areas that have not been renovated in a while and are pretty worn down. So um, I am a travel agent. So if you guys ever need help booking anything anywhere, I just always feel like I have to put it out there because sometimes I have new people um, watching my channel. But yeah, so it was good that I knew where to go. <laughs> and we had a really nice room. We had, like I said, the view of the ocean, which was great. Would request to be higher up next time. So there's no obstruction view but that was nice and um yesterday we just had such a great day the weather was crazy 64 65 degrees which is unheard of and we ended up going to land shark which is right on the water and we just had a drink and hung out there and then we went over to margaritaville i had the um i think it was called like the cheeseburger in paradise <laughs> And it was really, really good. So that was a lot of fun. I always like going to Margaritaville. There's one in Grand Turk that we go to that is a great time as well. A little bit nicer there because you have like the swim up bar and the pool and you're in the Caribbean, but you know, it was still pretty nice in Atlantic City. And the show was just amazing, amazing. If you are a fan of Duran Duran, which I am a really, really big diehard <laughs> Duran Duran fan for many, many years. Um, they sounded great. Like they just sounded so, so good. They put on a great show. I could tell Simon seemed to have like a little bit of a cold. Not that I could hear it at all, but I saw him a couple of times just kind of like step away and it looked like he might have been coughing. So they're doing the New Year's Eve show in Times Square tonight. So hopefully they're good for that. But they were just so much fun to, to see in concert. And I hope that they come around sometime again so I can see them again. Atlantic City is um, pretty easy for me to get to. It's not that far away. So it's really fun seeing shows there at the Hard, not the Hard Rock. They were um, at the Ocean and the Ocean Resort has a really like nice size arena where they have their show, like nice size, meaning pretty small. We were pretty far back, but yet we were really close. So that's really nice. The Hard Rock has a bigger um, area where they have their concerts, but still any of the concerts that you see in Atlantic City, you're gonna have great seats and have a great time. And I'm rambling. So I have to get myself ready. I like have not unpacked it or anything and we're going to be headed to dinner. All right, so this is the outfit that I'm wearing for New Year's Eve. I actually hold this a while back. I think I showed you guys. It was something that Cup She had sent to me and I think it's cute. What I like most about it is it's really comfortable. It's just like, it's not really fitted anywhere. And I had to wear a shirt underneath it because it is pretty low cut, but it's just flouncy and flowy and I can just wear tights and boots with it. So I don't know, I think it's cute and it's shimmery. So it definitely is like appropriate for um, New Year's Eve. And I don't know when else I would get to wear stuff like this. So <laughs> it's a fun outfit and that is what I'm going to be wearing tonight. And then I have this necklace. I don't know if you guys noticed it before, but it has my angel numbers on it. It's not really focusing, but it's number 444. And those are my angel numbers. I always see those numbers pop up all the time in my life. And ironically, I found this at Marshall's and it was the only one. There were no other numbers. There were no other, even like the 444. It was like, it was calling me. So I had to get it. And yeah, so I am ready to go. We are going to be headed out in just a few, but I just wanted to end the vlog here. I wanted to thank all of you so much who have been longtime subscribers, or even if you're new to my channel here in 2022, which is now coming to an end. I just want to thank you so much for your support. Everything that you do, whether you give it a thumbs up or you comment or you just watch the video, like everything just means so much to me. I'm not quite sure where my channel is going to be headed in 2023. I've been giving it a lot of thought and I have some ideas. I have to really um, get things into motion <laughs> because tomorrow starts 2023. One of the things that I wanted to do was share my Christmas gifts. You guys always seem to love when I do like my birthday gifts or my Christmas gifts. And I know it seems kind of like materialistic or whatever, but I love sharing that stuff and I think that a lot of you like seeing it. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know. Even if it's late, maybe you would still like to see it. I personally like um, 
just talking about people in my life and how thoughtful and kind and generous they are in some of the things that they share with me um, on special occasions, such as my birthday or the holiday. So I don't know. It's just like such a fun thing to share if you guys are interested. If not, totally get that too. And also, I don't even know <laughs> if I'm going to have time to do it because tomorrow is going to be a cleanup day. But anyway... Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with us the last couple of days as we were in Atlantic City. And I hope that you're all enjoying your New Year's Eve. Hopefully I will have this up for you guys tomorrow or the next day. And whether you're sitting home and relaxing and just watching TV, or if you have a big event or party to go to, whatever you're doing, I hope that you are enjoying the last day of 2022. I am excited to bring in the new year. I have a lot on the agenda for 2023. I have more fun travel coming up and we just have a lot of big events in 2023. I'm turning 50. My daughter is turning 21. My son is graduating high school. Um, my daughter is in dance competition for the first time in 2023. So, so many fun things to look forward to and I'm excited to bring you guys along. So. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Happy New Year. Bye.